Hello, hi, and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to start with my London adventure. adventure. So first of all, I went to London around June time. I'm getting emails from Bing. That's so weird. So I went to London around June time. And I was living with my sister because she lives there and she's living a life up in London. And it was like an adventure basically, doing my own thing because she would be at work and I'd have to like find stuff to do. Um, but the best day of the week on, the best day of the week, yeah, was, well, I don't know if that makes sense, but Sundays, okay, Sundays were the best days of the week. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, my sister goes to Hillsong, London Central, and I got the opportunity to serve at the kids' bit and just be with the little kids and be like, oh my gosh, and I made so many friends that I just will never forget, like, everyone that I was working with were just so lovely. Um, so, Serving with kids, really fun. I was in Voltage, so that's from age 7 to 11 years old. And we'd have, we'd start off with like games, we could just like play around, and then we get into the Word. And we'd have like the different serve people on teams that were preaching. And it was like, it was just really, really good. Italy. Woo. Italy. Italy.
so Italy. I so first oh, where is my first I went to Venice and then no then Florence and then Rome. And it was like the best experience of my life. It's not even a joke. It was so fun. Um, I was with my sister and we were just touring and being like really like touristy people. Um, yeah, I tried to vlog. I, it didn't go very well. I think I'm going to like insert some like random bits. But I went to Magnum. I got my own like custom made Magnum made for me. And it was like, it was so lit. It was like so good as well. And I literally wanted to keep it, but then it was gonna melt. Girl, Italy was hot. It was like 30, 30 plus, like every single day in the summer. So yeah, there was just no way I was gonna keep that magnum. Um, we did lots of tours. We went to the Vatican. We went to see the Leaning Tower. And it was just a good experience. Um, just to like spend time with my sister because I hardly see her. She lives in Scotland. Um, she lives in London, and I live here in Scotland. So we hardly ever get that time to just be me and her. Um, how old me? Ooh, okay. So that part I'm gonna put in some stuff. Like you're gonna see my time in Italy, of course, and obviously on my Instagram. If you would like to sub, uh, not subscribe. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it's like right here or in the description. Um, give me a follow and I'll spam you. I like to spam. I like everyone's pictures. Made it to Murano.
closing my suitcase and then look it's perfect and now boom we made it to Lido Beach I'm gonna show you oh this is my sister this hand is so hot Yo, I'm not getting your shoes again. Here's the paint. Oh, about my nails. I completely ripped them off, so yeah, they're gone.
opportunity so I turned. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> So weird. <laughs> she holds my hand every time. <laughs> so embarrassing. And na, 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 na. So they said I go to Florence. So this is what we did. Yo. Got me like... <laughs> After Italy, we, I came back to the London Life and I went to Hillsong Conference. So guys, anyone can say anything? Can I get a <laughs> I was serving on team. Everything was lush. I was in the VIP lounge of the O2 working with my team. We had so many, like, we had so much pictures to take. Mm, wait, first of all, let me get into the the best part of it was the parts where, like, leading up to conference, where we'd have time with our teams and we'd pray and we'd, like, work on our stuff. And I, I got to go to media comms meeting. That's, like, behind the scenes of Hillsong social media. And I love social media. So I was living the dream. And, of course, so they... Oh, but um, 
meetings would have been held in Bermondsey, so I'd have to take like three trains. <laughs> but that was just the adventure of it. That was the fun of just like London life and getting off at Canada Water. Like I literally remember the route. And I don't know, just the adventure because we don't have undergrounds here. And I think I don't think I'd go on them anyway. If we did, I don't really like undergrounds. But it's just like the adventure and like just getting to go around <laughs> and just do that, be that, have that London life. You know, sometimes we're kind of a bit like strange. Um, so we'd go to meetings, just like we'd be given creative like ideas, you know, like so we'd give be given different social media platforms, and we'd have to we were given a topic, and we'd have to like kind of see how we would what our posts would be like, and how that would affect like like who would be watching I don't know like who are um target audience you know kind of like marketing but it was like maybe not it was like fun just like um so for conference I was on films film photography film photography the film and photography team was kind of challenging because I take pictures in automatic. I don't really I don't really do the photography side of taking pictures. That sounds so strange. But like we did everything in manual and like loads of different like things and I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's pictures look better than mine. I was so stressed about that. And it was just like I was literally comparing myself the whole three days I was there so I was comparing my photos and thinking like oh I wish I could take pictures like that and like oh god it's really bad until gosh we had to we went into the conference and um we had someone speaking and I'm not I don't remember his name his right, right now but I probably he was talking about comparisons and I learned that contentment ends when comparison begins. What? Crazy. Mind alone. I was like, you're right. But you, you're right. That literally, that. What can I say to that? I wrote it down like on my notes. My notebook was like, I needed that, I needed that, but even though, like, not, I know it was, like, the message was given to me at, like, right at the end, and I, I couldn't really go back and just, because I think if I had heard that word at the start of my team thing, I would have probably not felt as bad as I did throughout the time I was taking pictures, <laughs> I felt so bad, but in, it just helped me for, in life. Like it's, I use that all the time because I'm always comparing myself in every single thing I compare myself, and I think it's important to know that there's always kind of savage, but there's always gonna be someone doing something better than you, but you're still doing it. Like you got this, you know, you got this. Even though it may seem like that person's doing way better than you, there's things that you're doing that they probably want as well, and that they're probably like, man, I wish I could do that as well. So comparing is isn't isn't a good idea, especially for your value. You are worth so much, and when when you start comparing yourself, I do think that your worth, your personal worth, kind of goes down because you're kind of like, I don't feel like I'm worthy of that because I don't have, I'm not good at this or something like that, which is just not the way. That's not the way. <laughs> not the way. Um, so yeah, that's one one key thing. Contentment ends when comparison begins. Never forget it. Okay, 
if you forget it, I'll tell you again. And I'll keep reminding you. You better remind yourself. It's your job. Keep it, you know? Hillsong Young and Free. Hi, I didn't speak about Hillsong Young and Free. So we had to take pictures for Hillsong Young and Free. It was lit. It was like proper moshing. Next year, you know what I what I might do? I might not be on team. I might just go and mosh. That's what I should do. I should just go and mosh. Because that'll be my last year being in the youth. And then I won't be allowed in the ground. So I'll probably do that. But also next year I really I really want to do kids songs. They're all so cute. And I had like all my friends from serving at church um doing that and I saw them and I was like, Oh my god, so cute. So I I'm just like I'm torn. I'm torn. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you coming to Hillsong Conference 2018? You can get your tickets. And the thing is, if I told you guys earlier, you know, maybe after conference, you guys would have got the early bird tickets. And I'm sorry I didn't. I said more. Okay, there is more. That's the thing. But this says, is there more? And you have to go through the book. Yeah, you have to go through the book and find that there is more. There is more to your life. There is more to who you are. There is more to God. There is more to worship. There is more. Oh my gosh, there is more to everything. Anything in this world, there is more of it. I want to see you, Hillsong Conference 2018. If not, that's okay. I mean, there's next year, then there's a year after that, and there's a year after that. So you have plenty of time. But every year it gets better and better and better. So, yeah. Definitely. There is more. There is more. There is more. <laughs>
my consent. <laughs> So June, I just finished high school. Um, it didn't end very well, and not as good as I thought it would end. Um, so I was really happy to be getting this massive, massive break. Um, I left in June, came back in August, and then also my brother joined me to the to come for a Hillsong conference. Then we went back home together. I flew out to London and we took the train back. I made amazing new friends, started fresh, and now that I'm back home, it was really upsetting for me to be back home. But I think it's good for me to come back as a new person. I don't feel the same as I was before I left. I feel like a new woman. I feel happy, I feel blessed, and definitely in a better mindset than I was before. Um, when I was in June. Oh, I'm always crying, guys. <laughs> um, so I think it was, a, it was a good idea to just kind of get away from it all. <laughs> um, so I'm so happy to be done with high school. Um, and I've started my social sciences course and I'm loving it so far. I'm only in the third week. So this is September now. I'm only in my third week, but I love it. And I, I'm doing like six subjects. Um, so... Yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. Um, so yeah, onwards and upwards, by the grace of God, hopefully, you know, into something beautiful. <laughs> Don't know what 